friend, how are you feeling today? I'm Elmer Servi from Team NDL and welcome to Super Quantum Custom Support. So let's make the Power Rangers proud. I <laughs> guess. Uh, but before we begin, a few particular messages. This is just my quest custom support, as you will see. Uh, but before we begin, like I said, a few messages. First and foremost, um, YT is a member of the coalition now. So we have a seventh member in the coalition of scrubs. So go welcome him up. Uh, he's really, really great. I'm not really going to go into detail what he does, but he mostly does just interesting deck challenges and master mix-ups, which is very, very cool. Um, I probably think he would can explain this. He could explain this better than me, but uh, he created good content, so go check that out. And his skits are hilarious. Uh, so uh, yeah. Secondly, um, he is going to upload in Mondays, and I'm probably, or should I say, every other Monday, and I'm probably going to start lowering down the numbers of videos I will have every single month because I'm going to start studying. So do keep that in mind. It's not going to be the case. And Lastly, we're going to start having every video that I have, the question of the video. So for this question, we're going to have either tell me what the favorite card from the cards that I created, two, what is your favorite Link Monster in the comments down below. So let me know that, let's inspire some kind of uh, conversation, uh, and that's that. And as you know, subscriber a day, keep the depression away. So if you want to help the Coalition members, including myself, link will be in the description. And, uh, and, you know, just go check us out. So let's get started. Alright, so for this particular thing, uh, I created nine cards and one card idea. Uh, so we have technically nine and a half cards because one of them is just not finished. Uh, the serial numbers are not going to be the best thing in the world. And I'm probably not going to go down into super rules about these because I think like the point is just creating cards in theme, create cards that are good and not just not overwhelm um, the archetype. And I'm pretty sure people that just click this know exactly what Super Quants do. So we're trying to go to cover their weaknesses, trying to work with their mechs a little bit, and trying to essentially just make the archetype more interesting, but like, you know, not having the same playstyle of just going Magnus, pass, and die, or just going to Xyz, pass, and maybe don't have a out after that because your consistency is just very very low. Uh, so we're trying to fix that and we have two monsters, two extra deck monsters, three spells, two traps, and one uh, link monster slash Xyz monster in work which I'll explain in the end uh, but uh, let's go right into it. So to start things off with the monsters we have one very very interesting one. Uh, we have two main deck monsters we're going to start off with the uh, I would say the less good out of the two, which is Super Quantal Yellow Layer, uh, which is an Earth Thunder level 2, uh, just to play on these like different levels. And he specifically allow you to, um, when he normal special summon, to banish a mech beast from your extra deck, and then add from your deck to your hand the corresponding pilot with the same attribute. So for example, let's say I'm banishing a Grampoles, I will add from my deck to my hand Blue Layer. Very simple, very smooth, very straightforward, giving you a worse searcher just on monsters, which is really cool, and just giving you something that is just like, oh, it's it's you don't really have to open up always with blue layer, which is pretty nice. And lastly, the other effect is if that this card is sent from the field, or like not from the field, sent to the graveyard, it allows you to add the field spell from your graveyard or deck to your hand, which is very important. Because I thought to myself, like, we already have a searcher for Alvin, so why not have a recovery slash search for the field spell? And that's what I came up with. Not always the most easiest one to trigger off, and that's why I want to make this like this, so it not be absolutely broken, but not the hardest. So yeah, this card is pretty great. Uh, being able to just search your field spell and search the corresponding pilot that you need. Which it works really, really well with the next card, which is Locklear. Which is a fiend level six, um, yeah, dark, obviously. Uh, but this particular card is very, very cool. Uh, being able to essentially just get a free special summon um, from the card is just very, very nice. Uh, because if you can draw a super quant, you get to special summon it, uh, which is something that super quants really, really missed. Uh, being able to just swarm the board for link plays or just generally. But on top of that. It's allowing you to use the effect of uh, Pot of Duality for your Super Quant cards when it's summoned, which is really cool. 
So you get the ability to pick up one of three cards and then shuffle the rest into the deck. And then when it's sent to the graveyard, it's allow you to special summon a super quantum monster with different name than him, but its effect are negated, so it will not be absolutely broken. So the point is, the new combo, whatever, you go yellow layer, you search this by banishing the corresponding Xyz, you summon a black layer, you search another card, maybe search your field spell or whatever, uh, you may be able to get like your white layer, or then you also do his shenanigans, and then you will be able to send all three uh, three, three materials to the grave uh, to essentially summon your uh, Link 3. And then you still get something from the deck, you get to search your carrier and you get to start linking your play. So essentially adding a little bit more consistency, either to get to a Link 2 and just starting your plays, or just, you know, working with the field spell. So with these two you can go to a Link 2, which is really nice. Maybe you want to make a Link 2 for Super Quants, that's another idea. Maybe I will do that in the future if we revisit this idea. Uh, which probably going to save that for the last card that I mentioned uh, but overall just giving the deck a little bit more consistency uh, giving them the ability to go into Xyz a little bit more easier and just giving them the ability to swarm the board and like plays even if they're not going to their own they're not really the hardest because I don't lock them into their own archetype uh, yet because they're not really good everywhere else so you know it's it's fine but yeah that's the two monsters I came up with and of course you, we need to have the corresponding uh, mechs, because if we don't have them, we cannot really do anything with uh, black layer or with the effect of, uh, you know, yellow layer to search. So yeah, and also there are super quantum pilots, they need their mechs. So for what I came up with, uh, we have the rank 2 earth terroram and a rank 6 uh, dark uh, shade sub serpent. Uh, Terraram is really, really great, um, but not really the greatest. It's, it's nice. It's pretty much the uh, Demand Spader link, uh, not link, but like the wind synchro effect. Just banishing from the graveyard is a quick effect. If you have a yellow layer, if it has no materials, it cannot attack, and it can attach something from your uh, hand to it uh, during the uh, during the, your turn. So yeah, it, do keep that in mind. It's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much the same idea of every mech, just the effect is uh, banish a card from grave for your opponent. Shade Serpent on the other hand is a little bit better. Uh, Shade Serpent is the same idea of Last of Rex, only for spells and traps, so it's pretty much if you have a spell or trap on the field, uh, if like you can target one spell or trap card on the field as a quick effect and just negate it. Just like uh, uh, Siegfried, Curse King Siegfried, or Last of Rex for spell and traps if you want to add a reference for that. And also, this card can play around Dark Ruler no more, which is absolutely funny. Uh, so yeah, I love this card a lot. Uh, this creation is just one of my favorites. In terms of like, yeah, it, it's just good. It's just really nice. So for the particular mechs, there are not really anything else to explain, but when we're going to jump into the spells, uh, the spells, there are a few things that you need to understand. I'm trying to create the spells interesting, but also kind of making sense. Uh, which one of them is a little bit on the weird side, but the two others will try to make sense to you a little bit more. So the, the, we'll start off with a little bit of the weird one, which is a Super Quanto Symbol of Unity. Now this card is very interesting. It's allowing you to, pretty much when it's activated, to discard one Super Quant card, and then you get to draw two cards. Now why is that good? Well, it has synergy with the pilots. You get to send, for example, like your yellow air, you get to draw two cards, and you get the field spell. Maybe it's a little bit on the stronger side, maybe, but it's saying Super Quant card, not Super Quant, like, you know, Super Quant monster. Or, uh, you know, sometimes you are forced to send something that is not your monster. So it does allow you to perk the effects of your own monsters in some cases, but the only one I think like is absolutely a plus is probably ye Yellow Layer and maybe even uh, uh, White Layer, but even then it's not really the biggest plus in the world. However, it's also have another effect when it's just pretty much destroying themselves itself if you summon a super quantum mech beast uh, immediately. So the secondary effect to activate it when it's sent to the graveyard. But the point was is that this card could miss timing because sometimes I want to make the card really, really good, but again, not that broken, but also in terms of a Konami theme, it is like the cards just like have a particular weird hindrance, so the card itself destroys itself if you summon a mech beast, regardless, you cannot stop this. But if it's sent to the graveyard, which can also be sent from your hand, so for example, if you're being able to send it with, with uh, 
uh, green layer that can also work. Uh, you get to pretty much monster reborn uh, one of your super quant monsters from the graveyard, which is pretty nice. Uh, so that's really cool. And lastly, the effect in grave, uh, you get to banish this as a protection to your super quant monsters or cards uh, like uh, Return of the Dragon Lord. So you get um, Destiny Draw, a monster reborn kind of effect, and Return of the Dragon Lords, and all in one, which I think does keep a little bit in theme. It's not the most in theme card, probably the less in theme card out of all of them, but still give the deck enough of a consistency, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Next up is a card that I created with um, pretty much someone, and you're not going to believe me to create this, uh, but this one I created with Invoked101 for the idea. That was kind of his idea, I'm his part of his other Discord server, which is uh, the YouTubers Alliance, uh, and we're talking from here, to, here and there sometimes, uh, and he kind of like helped me with the last four cards, but this one specifically, uh, and this one is pretty much um, a heavy forward for Super Quants, like the Infinitrax new spell, but a little bit different. It's the same idea, it's allowing you to add a super quantum, not quanto, or super quant, quant, super quantum. So it's only the pilots. It's allowing you to add one of them to your hand when it's activated. And the other effect is, it's allowing you to, once per turn, attach a super quant, to a super quant, exceeds monster super quantum. Again, the pilots only, uh, to attach one of them uh, uh, material from your grave or, or your field, or, or should I say hand, to that monster. So for example, uh, let's say I have, uh, you know, Magna Liger and I don't have enough cards in my hand, or should I say no cards in my hand left, like for his effect, and I use the effect during my, my turn because I have to, but I want the effect for my opponent's turn, uh, you could just do, for example, this to attach the red layer back, to get something that just help you uh, get a material back, and and also should be noted is that this card is just going to also attach to your Magnus, which is really cool and I like a lot. Uh, so this card can just pretty much be your attaching. It's not a quick effect, so do not worry; it's not that broken. But the fact is, like this guy, the card guy, this card is just really, really nice in terms of like just helping you uh, gaining the materials back or just giving you ma multiple materials on your monsters if you need to, which I think is very, very nice. And then you can just use it during your opponent's turn to get more advantage with your uh, grave setup, uh, with your pilots. Maybe the support is a little bit insane, maybe it's a little bit on the strong side, but uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to make Super Quants uh, a little bit more playable. And lastly for the spells, uh, we do have a quick play spell, which is called Super Quant Overdrive. Uh, this one, this one is someone, some things that I very, very enjoyed to make. Uh, this one is just pretty much, you target two Super Quants in your graveyard, with different names, and then you special summon one Super Quantal Mech Beast Monsters from your extra deck with a matching attribute to one of them. And then you attach to those two to it, and it counts as an Exceed Summon. So, what the point is, is that sometimes you do depend on your Field Spell way too much. And even with all of this consistency card, which I made like the Field Spell very easy to see, but let's say Konami hit this on the list, and you know, if that ever come up, and like, for example, like you only have... Uh, no yellow layers anymore, stuff like that, and your black layer is at, at one, and the consistency gotta get hindered. This one giving you the ability to do that. This is a card that just lets you uh, just exceed with with two materials engraved to summon a particular mech, which is pretty cool. Uh, one of like one of the attributes of, of these two, which is really nice, giving you two materials on your exceed, which is something that doesn't really happen a whole lot. And just generally, it's just nice to have, I guess. Uh, something that just like doesn't depend on your field spell that much and this is the card to fix that I think this card is just really great in the terms of like, you know, simple, sweet, straightforward Very nice. It's a quick play spell. You can even play it during your opponent's turn if you want a particular mech And you are going to have a, um, a grave setup. Not the easiest one, but you're going to have a grave setup probably so yeah Lastly, let's move on to the traps before we move on to my last question mark idea and that is a Super Quanto Mech Bond for your normal trap. Now this particular one is kind of like trying to play a kind of like a, an idea that the mechs and the pilots have a particular, you know, synergy or they're kind of bonded with each other. Because Mech Bond, allowing you for its first effect, to target one Super Quant Exceeds monster you control and take one Super Quantum monster with the same attribute from your deck and attach to it as an Exceeds, mon uh, an Exceeds material. Uh, I probably should have said Super Quantum Mech Beast so it will not work with uh, Magnus, but I don't think it's that matter. 
Uh, but the point is, is like for example, uh, let's say again, I have Magna Liger, it has no materials. I can attach the Red Lair directly from my deck, which is pretty nice. Uh, and just giving you the ability during your opponent's turn, kind of like, again, if you don't really open up with a way to just attach your monsters, facts, and everything, just giving you the ability to do that, which is kind of needed sometimes. And the archetype kind of like sometimes is forced, you are forced to go with White Lair to an Exceed monster that you don't have the original attribute on. So like, for example, like White Lair will co go under Magna Liger because it will be level 5 attribute, uh, level 5 fire attribute, but it will not be be able to activate this as a quick quick place a quick effect So you know what I mean it's just giving you the ability to deal with that But you also have a grave effect which allow you to target one super quantum mech beast in your graveyard or that banished Shuffle it into the exo deck so that also works with a uh, yellow layer and that you get to pretty much special summon the corresponding pilot from your graveyard with the same attribute so for example like I said if I have Magna Liger in my banished pile uh, I shovel it into the extra deck and summon Red Lair from the graveyard. Pretty cool, pretty straightforward, pretty nice. Lastly, we have a counter trap, which is called Super Quantal Alpha Protection, and this particular card is very, very cool. It's pretty much a negation effect. When a monster spell or trap or a monster effect is activated, you get to pretty much negate an effect. Um, one of the control, of course, Super Quantal Monster. But if you control a Super Quantal Mech Beast, you get to shuffle it into the deck instead of destroying it, making it a little more powerful and incentivize you to use your mechs, and if you don't have the ability to summon Magnus, you have another kind of protection. As well, uh, you can only activate this one Super Quantal Alpha protection per turn, so in the same idea of like if your opponent kind of negate this, uh, you cannot just activate another copy if, in terms of ruling, unlike some of the other cards, which is like, you could, it, it's, it's a weird thing, I, I need to, it's more of a ruling thing, so I'm not really going to go into it. Uh, but yeah, this is the counter trap, which I think is very, very cute, very straightforward, and just really giving the Arctic the additional protection it's needed. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the custom cards, except from the last idea, which I'm going to leave as like a question mark, um, which is Super, uh, or should I say, Ultimate Super Quantum Mech King Infinity Destroyer. This is the one I came up with. I'm not going to show you the text because it's like really weird. So I have a few particular ideas, either a Link Monster or an Xyz Monster, depending of course on what you want. I think a Link 2 will be better when I'm thinking a, a little bit more. Uh, but the point is, is it wants to create a particular uh, Link Monster, which probably a Link 2 will still be fine, uh, and gaining a particular effect based on the attribute of the Mech Beast that you use to summon it. That's one of the effects I had, uh, the ideas I had. Secondly, I had the idea to just make a good Link 2, to just kind of like be able to climb to the Link 3, but also like, you know, a little more consistent to go into a Link Monster than triggering up and prepping your monster's effects. Thirdly, uh, which is an idea that is pretty much made by uh, Dunk or Chaos Stream, uh, which is told me, uh, making a mini Ma Magna King Magnus effect uh, card, pretty much. But this one is pretty much what I tried to make, is a big guy that is like Mega Clops for Infinite Tracks, but not exactly, but gaining effects, like it's not that like, you know, defensive, uh, because, you know, either way it'll be absolutely broken. It has kind of a defensive effect, but like based on the monsters uh, of the mech, mech beast that you use, is gaining effect. So for example, for fire, what I thought is that you get to summon a mech beast from your graveyard, uh, and its effect is negated. So pretty much that one does. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to go into the effects because I think it just absolutely still need balance. Maybe in the future, maybe in my custom card video, uh, which is coming up tomorrow to my channel, Maybe in the future there I will do that as one of the cards that I created, but if you have any idea how to make a card like this, it could be really, really cool, let me know in the comments down below. But that pretty much does it for my Super Quant custom support. Hopefully, I stayed in theme, hopefully you like the idea of most of these cards, and I did really receive a, at least very good words on the Fire First cards, especially Black Lair. The four others, I'm not really sure, but I think they're still very, very nice. Uh, but uh, yeah, these are just really, really cool ideas, and I try to stay in theme. Like I said, let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite card out of these, and what is your favorite Link monster. And the idea for this one, uh, the last like mech slash thing that I want to make, which I wasn't really sure of how to make that. Uh, but uh, yeah, that pretty much does it for that. See you next time. Um, I don't know when, hopefully it will be next week, depending of course, like I said, on my schedule. 
And um, next week we're probably going to either do something related to like a discussion or we're going to start tackling down Marincess, which is number two in the 100 sub special, so do keep that in mind. See you next time. Bye bye. We don't play good decks, we play bad decks well. Scrubs by choice in this abyss we dwell.